Ho, ho. What's up, cadre? Uh, welcome to the Bahamas. Uh, we are currently uh, stationed at uh, Disney's private island. Let me see if I can, uh, we can hear. We'll, we'll unhook you. Yeah. There it is. That's the private island over there. If they're doing banana boating stuff there. Anyway, uh, you never know what the next, I was going to do this video, uh, tomorrow while we were moving. Uh, maybe we'll do a, a second one, but you never, never know what the day's going to bring. So I just thought, um, late day shave, thought we'd go ahead and, and, and do it. Um, so hopefully you see from the title, this is going to be a, a quick, my thoughts about Disney's newest ship. The wish. Um, quite honestly, uh, we had very apprehensive feelings about this cruise because there's a lot of reviews from folks that uh, uh, have sailed other Disney ships about uh, the quality of this. With the banana boat people are coming back through. If you if you hear noises, um, but uh, a bunch of comments to the to the effect that uh, they're not pleased with this ship. Uh, so anyway, I'll just give a quick rundown of my comparisons um, of this to some of the other ships, and then hopefully uh, overlay some photos and and stuff. Uh, starting with the room, uh, Disney rooms are always great. They're meant for families. Uh, we are a group of four people this time, but I uh, always get a room that'll sleep five because instead of a bed and then the couch folds out into a bed and then they fold down a bunk bed, but to sleep four, if you do five, they've got a Murphy bed that folds down. So we've got older teens. So if we do that and only have four people, we nobody has to crawl up on the top bunk. Uh, so the, the couple of things we noticed about the room, um, one one is USB ports all over the place, which is cool. Um, we did bring a USB hub. Uh, but turns out we don't need that at all uh, for this trip. Um, the uh, bathrooms, as always, are great. They've got the split bathroom where there's a toilet in one and a sink, and the other one has a shower and a sink. And the showers are great. I think it's even bigger than the other Disney ships, actually glass wall enclosed shower with a small tub. The tub's not big enough for like an adult, but if you've got small kids and stuff that haven't progressed to the shower stage yet, perfect. Um, the one bummer, um, now I'm talking and I'm getting messed up where, where I've been, where I'm going. I don't know where I'm coming from. Um, is what was about the, the TVs are bigger, which is good because the other uh, Disney ships, the, the T, you know, they're built way in the past, and the TVs are small. Nice big TV here. Uh, legitimate gripe that I've read about is that it, the TV doesn't swivel, so it's right on the wall opposite the main bed, which is fine for the people there, but everybody else that wants to view it is all at a pretty <clears throat> tough angle, so they really should put that on a swivel. Um, and no drawer space. I mean, they've got plenty of closet space um, and shelves in one of the closets, but um, no uh, no uh, drawers, which is uh, kind of a bummer. There's a lot of noise coming from somewhere. Something's happening right up there. Um, Other than that, um, and then these rooms are themed. Uh, each floor, there's three different themes, I believe, that rotate throughout uh, the different floors. Uh, we have princess, so when you walk down the hallway, the main lights have, I don't know, you should probably see a picture here, a princess themed with the, the pumpkin carriage and all that stuff, and then actually the shadows it throws off are pretty cool. 
Um, so then like the number outside of our door has a pumpkin theme and the, the picture behind the, anyway, um, you've hopefully heard some of my Disney Cruise comments, reviews before, um, same, same, that Disney, um, <clears throat> you get what you pay for. Uh, with Disney, it is theming and attention to detail, and we enjoy that. If you're just here for a ship to get you from one place to another, almost any cruise line will do that. That's one of the differences. Um, but, uh, so what else? Um, elevators, they went from three banks of elevators down to two, no elevators midship. Um, which I think is turning out okay. Um, one time I noticed no stairs or elevator midship is when they've got the, the stairs to the atrium closed off for photos. You have to head off somewhere else to get down to the atrium if you're just a floor or two above. Um, not a huge deal, but there's a lot of that. That's where uh, the reviews have been. I get myself. I'm shaving just in the, the camera. It's a little tough. Uh, where the reviews have been spot on, in that the flow of the ship is wonky. Um, I've decided it's not so bad that I would not ever take the wish again, just based on that. Um, but we have heard from, and I met somebody this morning that. Uh, does feel that way that they're not gonna take the wish again but we run into a few things where um to get from like one level a certain level and all the way up to the next one sometimes you we'd be outside going upstairs and then have to go inside and up a flight of stairs and then back outside and or um one side of the uh ship is closed off on certain uh in many different areas, like you can't walk all the way around. Um, one of them because there's a slide where you get off and on the, the smaller slide. Um, so if you're trying to get around that side, you can't, you have to go down or up. And um, <clears throat> another, uh, somewhere around the adult area, you can only get to that from one side. So it's kind of weird. Um, I don't know if it would be better or worse on a, sh on a longer cruise. Right now they're all they're doing is shorter cruises on this thing. I'm thinking maybe it would get more obnoxious if you were on like a week-long cruise and depending where your room was and where you like to hang out if you constantly had to do all this uh, shuffling around to get where you like to go I don't know what else um, the restaurants oh the restaurants um, so we so far we've been to Marvel which is pretty cool uh, they do a whole show that you know, they recorded snippets and stuff that they show on the screens around uh, around the restaurant to get you involved. And then um, at the end, we had Spider-Man come through, apparently Ant-Man, because Ant-Man themed uh, the show. Uh, sometimes he comes around with Wasp, or I've never, I haven't seen the movies. Um, and then we went to Arendelle. Okay, whatever, spam me. I love, I love Frozen, I love the music, so uh, if you're into that stuff, you haven't lived, if you haven't been uh, <clears throat> live action dinner theater with Frozen and then the whole whole uh, restaurant is singing along with Let It Go. Oh, in the feels. Anyway, um, very, very well done. Very great theming again of the restaurant. Very entertaining during your whole meal. A lot of music and dance and stuff like that. Uh, the restaurant we are going to last night on here is supposed to be um, very refined it's called 19 1923 that I don't know anyway like black and white like uh, homage to, to Walt and Roy Disney and stuff like that and that should be more subdued there's no show there it's just very elegantly themed um, but the food um, I mean, I'm gonna get almost done with my shave maybe we do have more to talk about tomorrow um, the, the self-service fast food around the pool area, so much better, so much better. They have the famous chicken strips, best chicken strips in the world, Disney Cruise Line. Um, but now they've got a barbecue place where you can get brisket and pulled pork and sausages and all sorts of different sauces you can slather on them. Uh, the pizza place as usual. 
Um, but then they also have a Mexican grill place where you can make like Mexican bowls or, or uh, taco stuff like that. So far surpasses the food, um, self-service food on the other ships. I would say the food in the dining room is, you know, same, same. And, and I've heard that and I kind of believe it, that it's almost the same across the board. Most cruise ships, you've got to cook for the masses and cook to kind of common taste. And you, you know, you're pushing out how many hundreds of meals all at once. So, uh, anyway, but, but the other foods are great. Um, adult areas is there's been another complaint on the other ships um, <clears throat> you have a section on one end of the ship where all of the kind of lounges and stuff uh, that are 18 and over after a certain time of day are housed here they're kind of scattered around so one I've heard that that's not so great because they're not just all in one place and uh, that they're very small and so they're overflowing we haven't experienced that. Um, when the ship was brand new to get to the Star Wars lounge, you had to sign up for a time because so many people want to do it. We uh, poked our head in once to see it. It wasn't full. We decided to go get a drink there. It was half full. So uh, that might've just been a new ship thing. Um, and then, and uh, I was telling my wife that I think maybe some of these changes don't make sense to us, but they could be based on just data, which it'd be frustrating if they're not. So I don't, I think the lounges might be a little bit smaller, but usually when we were listening to live music, the lounges were not full anyway. So if that's true, then it would make sense to shrink them up and use that space for other things. Um, with Disney, it's usually um, kid driven, the kids clubs. I, we haven't been to the little ones. We decided not to tour this time. We went uh, to the space for the older teens, uh, pretty big space, uh, pretty cool. Oh, they like that and then the spa they dedicated a lot more space to the spa i think in this one um so anyway and then then we've also heard complaints that um the seats all all in the the whole the whole ship are smaller like in all the lounges and stuff i don't think that's true um they have always had um some nice comfortable seats around the back and then a lot of the seats kind of in the middle of the room have been small without big backs and stuff like that. I think one because they're easier to move around um, and then you can just fit more in them. Uh, so I don't think that's been any different. We went and watched the show in the theater, the main theater, live action show um, last night and same thing that the, the, you know, people complain that the seats are too small, but uh, you yeah. know, I'm not a small guy, and I think they were about the same, so. Um, the spa, the spa. I should hopefully have some pictures here to show you the spa, because uh, it was crazy good. Um, also crazy expensive. Um, and that, that's one thing that I'm bummed about too, is I've given the pro tip on all the other ships. Once the gym is open, there's a nice locker room there that if you want a nice, big, spacious shower, uh, you can go take your stuff there, use the shower and shave and all that stuff. It's open to, for anybody to use. Here, it is it is open to anybody be, to use, but it is kind of inside the, the spa space. Um, so you can tell them you're just there to, to use that, but um, you uh, it doesn't open until 8. And what I used to do is go up fairly early and use that space uh, before anybody else was up or when everybody's trying to get ready, I would use that space just to free up the shower. So eight o'clock's a little bit late for me to do all that. I brought everything out here but a towel. Um, but the spa itself, beautiful. And this is the only Disney ship that uh, part of the spa space is outside as well. Um, so I'll show you uh, pictures of that. Um, Disney has these loungers inside that are heated, but they're also, they're, they're hard. Um, they almost look like concrete with tile on it. So they don't look like they'd be all that comfortable, but when we did the tour, they, they said, go ahead and sit in one. Sit in. Oh my gosh, having it heated. Oh. Yeah, I could, I could see 
paying for that again like i said it, it ain't cheap so you can either pay for like a treatment or something like a massage or what, what you know all the other spa -y stuff they do or you can pay for what they call a rainforest room pass because on the other ships i don't know if it's called something else here on the other ones they have rainforest rooms that you can i don't remember they have like like uh, steam or showers and all that stuff with different oils and smells and all this stuff anyway this one has a steam room uh those loungers and it has an ice room and then it's got all sorts of outdoor space it's just like relaxing but you have to pay for access to to that stuff um, what else what else um I would say a lot more shopping. They have more stores, um, but they have the one, their one main store, and then they've got a lot of little, like a, a lot of space for jewelry and watches. I know they do carry more brands of watches on this ship than the other Disney ships. Um, so I don't know if they carry more jewelry or they just have more of it out. Because it used to be you'd go and talk to them and they'd pull like racks out from underneath to show you what you might be interested in. Um, what else? Um, they have two movie theaters instead of one, but they're much smaller. Again, I suspect because often they weren't full. So they look like very small movie theaters, but again, you can watch first run movies on a live screen for free um, so they can show two different ones. So I guess that's a wash. Um, and it really depends on what you want to do. Um, the pools are kind of split up all over the place um, because we don't hang out in the pools, makes no difference to us. Some folks have complained about that. I could kind of see a benefit for like the chair hogs and stuff if there's not like one central place and you maybe want to, different people want to be in different spots that helps with that, I don't know. Um, what else, what else? Those are, the, those are the biggies. People didn't like the flow. I understand that. Uh, people complained that, you know, there's not a running track yeah, all the way around. Correct, there's not, but there's a woman when I was watching us pull into port today. Uh, went down on a lower deck <clears throat> to watch that where people would run. You know, you could see her come to the, the, the dead end and turn around and go back and then however far she can go in the back. So it's like you can run. You just have to turn around certain points if that really like chaps your hide, then I guess that's a problem. They do have all sorts of, you know, treadmills and bikes and stuff you can use for free. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm done with my shave. I did bring a towel, so I have to go dry off. And then I've got my Quinn's uh, and my little spray bottle here. Um, I should tell you, I used uh, Midnight and Two Province soap. Um, as always in my travels, using the Feather SS with a Feather Pro Guard blade. And my uh, trusty Go Everywhere Sterling uh, soap. So there you go. I'll work on this video when I can, and I'll see you on the forum.